we got to talk about candida. It is one of the top 10 major causes of chronic illness. I'm going to go through a few slides. This will be real quick. Bear with me. All right, gross alert. If you're not ready for this because you're eating food or something, then stop the video right now. All right, the first slide is not too bad. The second one is first slide, bloating, usually after eating, could be any time of the day. Um, and it could be from eating fruit or sugar, high carbohydrate foods, grains, but any kind of bloating for any reason, usually it's candida and it needs to go away 100%. When you have an infection in your body, no matter what it is, you can have chemicals and mucus and biofilm that are released by these organisms and they cause harm maybe at the location where they are or it can spread throughout the body. You gotta get this to go away 100%. Candida on the tongue, that white coating needs to be gone 100%. You can have candida like on the toenail or on the skin, really gross, get rid of it. That's an active infection and don't you can't just blow it off because it's causing harm in your body. This is thrush on the roof of the mouth and don't confuse this with uh, like a bacteria or something. It's gotta be gone. I'm gonna give you solutions at the end here. This is toenail fungus throughout the toenail. And you can see how you have white underneath the toenail. It's making the toenail itself fragile and uh, colored white. Get rid of this 100% and have a great product from um, it's ozonated olive oil to be put on this. That's the best product I've ever seen to get rid of toenail fungus. And I've been at this for more than 20 years. Believe me, I've tried everything with my patients including tea tree oil and chamomile and internal pills and all this stuff, but ozonated oil topically on the toenail fungus is the best I've ever seen. Here's some symptoms starting from the top and moving clockwise in one, from my viewpoint. Strong seasonal allergies could be candida in the sinuses, behind the eyes or right in here. Diarrhea, constipation, bloating in the gut, a white layer in the tongue, sore throat, redness and discomfort on the mouth. And then I already talked about the toenail fungus, irritability, depression, anxieties at the bottom. So emotional stuff, brain stuff caused by candida. The candida could be in the gut or in the brain or anywhere in the body, in the blood, in the lymphatic system. There's a lymph vessel that goes from the brain to the gut back and forth. Right in the middle, extreme cravings for sugar. The cravings come from candida controlling you. Fungus controls organisms. There's, uh, you can look this up on YouTube. There's a fungus that goes into an ant. It'll make that ant crawl all the way up to the highest point on a, on a bush or a tree, and then it kills the ant, and then it grows off the top of its head and releases spores. Super gross, but that's, you're on planet Earth, so you gotta deal with it. Bottom left, lack of focus, memory loss, brain fog, difficulty concentrated, ADD and ADHD. All these brain things can be from fungus, from candida and then itchy skin anywhere. And the last one, upper left corner, fatigue and fibromyalgia. Chronic fatigue syndrome and chronic muscle aches. Like what's causing that? It's usually a multitude of factors and candida is definitely one of them. This website at the top I'm ref referring to because they made the graphic at the bottom. Invasive candidiasis, a deadly disease with up to 75% mortality rate. Candida can kill, that's how bad it is. Now here's an important point. Candida is a friendly organism and then it can pleomorph to an unfriendly organism. What makes this organism go from a friendly to unfriendly to you know, causing all these symptoms and maybe even death? It's the terrain of the body. It's how are your tissues doing? Are they dying? Is your immune system weak? And if it is, then the candida thrives. If you are wiping out your good, your probiotics in your body with steroids or antibiotics or sugar, then bacteria and candida fight for each other for real estate. So the bacteria come down, that's my right hand, and the candida goes up, my left hand, and they start to take over. You don't want that to happen. Candida is not a cause, it's an effect from some toxicity or maybe even radioactive elements from drinking water. That's the bottom line. Half of Americans are drinking radium in their tap water and that can cause the candida pleomorph. Okay, so here's the solution for candida. 
It's in step one, diet. It's in step two, increasing mitochondrial function. Because with weak mitochondria, your immune system is, is very poor. It's in step three, that's drainage. How do your organs work, including your liver, gallbladder, lymphatic system? Because your body's got to be able to get rid of the candida. The solution includes step four and five. That's getting rid of parasites. Parasites will have candida in them or on them. You, you can see candida on the top of a parasite. Gross, but that's what it is. Now, to get rid of candida, it also includes step six, powerful detoxification. Metals, chemicals, and radioactive elements destroy your tissue. The candida comes in and they eat the dead tissue. And then maybe you need step seven, maybe not. That's cleaning out the inside of the cells. There's my solution. It's comprehensive. Now, you can go buy oregano, clove. You can buy berberine. You can buy herbs and even take diflucan, which is the medication, to kill candida. And then you might be done. Just killing candida might be the solution. But I have a, a new patient recently, a former vegan, um, doesn't eat red meat, and with candida for many, many years. And I said, you got to get rid of this 100%. And the first step is diet. That's foundational foods, step number one. So that's how you take care of uh, the whole problem comprehensively, permanently by doing all these steps. I wish it was easier. I wish it was just take diflucan or oregano or grape seed extract or whatever the latest craze is, the, the latest multi-level marketing supplement or something like that. The latest research on like the next therapy. It's a multitude of therapies to increase your body's function in all these steps, to clean out your body as well as it can and that's how you get rid of candida permanently forever. And then you can't cheat later because then you might suffer again from it. Go to my website, take the candida overload quiz and answer these questions, submit it. And if you need some help, maybe we're the ones that help you out.